Hi, I'm Mary Walsh with news from all along the new Sector 7 border. The Sector 7, as it is now known, has had peaceful crossings for the last 60 to 70 hours, and there's not much left time left, excuse me, for uh, people to leave. They are not allowing anyone in right now, but there are a group of people at the ready when they do decide to let them in. We're hearing from some of the crossing people that getting in, especially once you've already left, is going to be hard, but they are offering um, a lot of things that we don't have in our communities right now, like free health care, uh, free housing, free automobiles, and job placements. It sounds like a great deal, and I'm thinking about crossing myself when the time comes. There is also a huge resistance movement to the north that's went underground at this time, and the Sector 7 people have blocked off any movement in that area. They seem to think they have it under control, but we'll see how that goes, and I'll let you know. Right now, everything's going as planned in Sector 7, and most of the people leaving the area are not too upset with, with the uh, lost territory. Uh, a lot of government leaders have chosen to stay. There are a few leaving that are unhappy, but that is the minority. And I'll let you know what happens next. This is Mary Walsh with your Sector 7 Border News.